Whoa. Aww. Time to bring out the big guns. Oh, here we go. Yep. I wanted to make an RPG for some time, specifically a turn-based one. I really loved the game Lisa the Painful and wanted to create something of a similar style. In order to control the scope of the game, the story had to be contained within one area. The original idea was that the couple had to escape the building on a blood moon, which apparently turned some people into mutated creatures. I wasn't really sold on it though and my tiny brain couldn't really think of relevant puzzles that the player would encounter. I was stuck on this until the idea of an aquarium came to mind and that's kind of how the concept kickstarted. I prototyped the 2D movement, thought it wasn't very interesting so I tried a 2.5D style. I made the characters follow each other in a linear line similar to games like Earthbound. I moved on to prototyping the turn-based battle system. It's gonna be fairly simple so as to not overwhelm the player in the fights. There's no things like type advantages or ultimate meters, just the basics. And one of my pet peeves about RPGs is the random encounters and grinding. I didn't want that in my game so I focused on making bosses that the couple would go up against. Making all the fights be two against one. For a long time our character was just squares so I designed our couple and scratched them up in their pixel versions. I made some art for the little things like the status effects and the consumable items and got to working on the environment. It was good to make a general map of the entire aquarium and split it up into its different exhibits. I hit a lot of roadblocks on how the interior architecture of the aquarium should be so I went to an actual aquarium in Roblox. With the ideas and references I gathered, I got to crafting the interior of the aquarium. Now I wasn't making a backrooms game so I had to design and populate the place with some NPCs and of course some fishes. And it was time for the fishes. It was a bit tough to narrow out the number of bosses I wanted in the game since there was so much marine life to choose from. Originally there was only going to be 3 bosses but it naturally grew to the 5 that we have in game now including the secret 6 boss. And since I was already doing a mix of 2D and 3D, why not make the creatures 3D models to make them stand out from our pixel characters. Now for music, I wanted something original. So I asked my girlfriend to compose some sick beats for the battle and some ambiance and she delivered with some bangers. I mean how can you not bop to this? With all these pieces put together, I put the game and released it. Personally, I'm really proud of how C Mongrel came out. This project took me about 6 months but I'm happy with the end product and I really appreciate the support it's getting so far. Links in the description below, it's free so give the game a try. If you want to listen to all the songs from C Mongrel, check out the OST I just released. And if you want to know about the game where these two come from, you can check out my previous devlog. But that's it from me, see you in the next one.